welcome. This is my backyard. I've been working on this for a few years. Maybe take a little look. Maybe uh, I should get somebody uh, to plug that thing in so we actually have a babbling brook. We'll break, we'll break right now and get a babbling brook going for you. This is Reality Sauce and I'm Michael Bruce. Today we're going to be cooking up some ribeye steak from Springfield Meats, some roast potatoes with cheese medallions, and some delicious corn on the cob, Tex-Mex style. You're going to like it. Let's get cooking. Here we are, the moment of truth. Two beautiful steaks waiting for your approval. The seasonings. I would recommend. Anybody can do what they want, but this is what I do. Garlic powder. Easy peasy. Season. Liberally. Pepper. You want to see it. You don't want to fake it. You don't want to give the steak half of what it needs. It's important. One of my favorite seasonings. I recommend it to everybody you like. Enjoy it. Boom. Don't be afraid of salt on the outside of the steak. We're grilling these things. Half of it sweats off when you're grilling it. Next important part of any seasoning treatment is the rub. When you have the rub, everybody enjoys the rub, so does the steak. You give it a little rub. Flip the steak and repeat. There. These can sit for a couple minutes. What we're gonna do now is heat up the grill. I've heated up the barbecue. It is almost at optimum temperature. We're rocking around 400 Fahrenheit. I like it five, 550. I'm gonna sear that meat. I'm gonna seal in those juices. But first, any good barbecuer knows, before you start it up, you clean that grill. Let's open it up and get it done. Should we take a look? No. Keep that lid closed. It's important. People keep in looking. Nothing's cooking when you're open the lid. You gotta keep that lid closed. Let that heat sear that meat. You got some guys who like to just sear that one stripe across there. That looks so dark and brown. Looks beautiful. Me? I like the cross sear, back and forth. You know, just it's a little more work, but it looks so good. Let's go in and take a look. The thing about a medium rare steak is you gotta feel its texture. It's like an egg yolk stiffening up. How tough is it getting? We're gonna take those off the grill right now and serve them up for dinner. Now the thing about a good steak, gotta let that rest. Let that rest for about eight to 10 minutes, and then, Heaven. Look at those. Those are the cheese medallions. It's the first time I made them in a long time. I'm peeling off some cheese off our parchment paper, putting it into our potatoes to be ready for presentation. Let's go in and take a look. Look at this. People don't even know what to do with this. We've got so much cheese and flavor here. Oh my god, people are gonna get excited. Excellent. Get that? That's so tasty. You haven't tasted it yet. Butter on your corn. Tex-Mex. Just a little slap on there like that. Fine. It's essential. The medium rare. 